On Linux, when you choose a distribution, you have two primary groups of options. You basically have stable distributions and rolling release distributions. Stable being things like Ubuntu and rolling release being things like Arch or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. The stable distributions obviously have the advantage of not breaking, whereas the rolling release distributions have the advantage of giving you the latest and greatest, which is really important, especially if you're on newer hardware or if you're a gamer. Now, choosing between these two, both have benefits, but both have drawbacks. But what if I told you, you could have both at the same time using Nix OS? That's going to be the discussion for today, how you can install both stable and unstable packages at the exact same time with the power of Nix OS Flakes. Now I'm gonna assume you have NixOS set up and I'm gonna assume you have a Flake set up. Uh, if not, check out my other videos on, on how to do that. But otherwise, we're just gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna start off uh, showing you some of my show notes uh, to get us started. Now this video sort of piggybacks off of my last video, which is about special args and extra special args. The idea with those being that you can pass basically arbitrary things into any Nix module that you have using your Flake. And the TLDR of that video uh, is right here. In your Flake, you can uh, define some variables in your let binding of uh, your outputs section, like I have here username and name. And then you can pass those along to all of your modules via the special args argument of the NixOS system function, just using some inherits or something like that, or via the extra special args argument of the home manager configuration function, if you're using home manager, which you should be, it's a really awesome thing to manage your dot files. So if you want to learn more about how that works, and uh, how to get that set up, of course, check out my latest video. But we're actually going to need to use these in order to do this trick of installing packages from more than one Nix packages version at the same time, which is essentially what we want to do. We want to install from a stable branch and an unstable branch at the exact same time. So moving along here, essentially how this trick is going to work, we start with the inputs section, actually, when you first set up your NixOS config as a flake, you have to define Nix packages uh, in your inputs. And then if you're using home manager, you of course, uh, define home manager as an input. And this looks something like this, um, nix packages URL, and then we give the URL to nix packages. In this case, this is the 23.05 stable release. Um, I think actually, we might be on 23.11 right now. Um, yeah, we probably are. Uh, this, this might be from a little while ago. Um, I actually run unstable, so I, I don't really keep up with which version is which. But um, in any case, you put your version there for whatever stable branch or unstable branch you're using. And that's all well and good. We now have an input. Now, these inputs can be literally any Git repo, like any Git repo. Um, and we can define as many of these as we want. So using this fact, all we have to do is define two inputs of Nix packages with different branches, the branch being this part right here. So going ahead here, your config could then look something like this, where you have nix packages URL be the stable branch, and then have something like nix packages unstable URL be the NixOS unstable branch. Now just adding this will only add the unstable branch as an extra input but it doesn't necessarily add them to your config yet. It doesn't install any packages using unstable yet. So in order to do this, this is where the special args and extra special args trick comes in. So we scroll down here, packages pkgs is something that we define in this let binding here as nix packages dot legacy packages uh, dot, and then this system that would be your architecture. And as you can sort of see here, uh, packages is defined using the input Nix packages. We can do the exact same thing to define packages dash unstable right here. And we do the exact same thing except we use the Nix packages dash unstable input. 
Now you'll notice I have a slight error here and that's because I forgot to include nix packages dash unstable as an input to this function. So um, if you're getting an error like that, you gotta make sure that you include that uh, right there, sort of like that. And now that will, uh, that will sort of work. Once you have packages unstable defined, you can then inherit it in special args of your NixOS configuration, so right here, and the extra special args of your home manager configuration, like this. Now we have access to both the stable packages and the unstable packages, but we're still not actually installing any packages from the unstable branch yet. So to actually install packages from there, you'd have to go to your Nix module files, such as configuration.nix or home.nix, and you would do something like this. Inside of those modules, you're probably already using packages as an argument. And that is the sort of attribute set you use to select which packages you actually install, like maybe uh, pkgs.zsh or pkgs.vim or whatever. It's the same exact thing, except now we just add an extra argument, pkgs packages dash unstable. And now we have access to both of them. Um, the trick that I show you here is just some list concatenation. So like here, this is using with packages. And so we have a list here. And this is where you could list stable packages that you want to install. And then we concatenate that with a list using packages unstable, sort of like this. So one thing I do want to mention, um, in case it isn't obvious, you cannot install two versions of the exact same package. So if you try to install um, stable vim and then unstable vim, that probably wouldn't work. The only way that this would work is if there is literally no difference between the stable and unstable version. I don't know if that's the case with Vim. Um, I, don't, I don't know if Vim gets updated that often, actually. Uh, so it, like, it might work with something like the Hello tutorial program, but uh, it would definitely not work for any program that actually receives updates. Another thing that I sort of want to point out uh, that is actually happening, uh, so we define two versions of Nix packages. In this example, we're defining Nix packages as the stable one and Nix packages dash unstable as the unstable one. And then if we go to the flake here and we sort of see what parts of this let binding and these functions depend on. So we have lib, which is Nix packages dot lib. So this is using stable. We have uh, packages is stable, packages dash unstable is unstable. So going along here and seeing uh, lib is using this lib, which is stable. So the NixOS system builder function is from the stable branch. And we're using that stable builder function to install some unstable packages. It's the same sort of deal with home manager. If you're using home manager, uh, this home manager dot lib, that, that is from the input home manager and home manager. Uh, in this case, the inputs uh, are following Nix packages, which is this one, which is stable, meaning that the home manager configuration builder function is from stable, but we are building both stable and unstable packages using the stable builder function. Uh, I'm just pointing this out so you can sort of see what's going on. And you can also sort of see that there is a potential for some breakages in this case to happen. Uh, if there's some sort of deprecations that happen in between whatever two branches that you're uh, messing around with, it could lead to some packages not installing, especially from whatever version of Nix packages your builder function uh, is not using. Now, Nix is sort of magical. And most of the time, I think this will sort of just work because, you know, it's Nix and uh, it, it's really cool. But that is sort of something to be aware of uh, in that this whole uh, sort of idea, this whole thing, including two or more versions of Nix packages at once, uh, it is still kind of a hack and uh, it's not like supported stably at all in any real sense. I recommend this process 
really only to install things uh, that you wouldn't otherwise be able to install using a single version of Nix packages. So like, for example, if you're using the stable branch of Nix packages, um, I know there's quite a few packages that do not exist in the stable branch of Nix packages. Um, they only exist in unstable. At one point, I don't know if this is changed by this point, but uh, there's, a, there's a program called Keep Menu, which is like a, a D-menu script uh, for using KeePass password databases. And when I first tried to install that, it was only in unstable. And so I, I couldn't install it until I switched to unstable or unless I used this uh, trick. So I switched to unstable because I am still an Arch user at heart. Uh, but the other reason that you might consider using this is if you're using the unstable branch and some program that you depend on received uh, some sort of bad update and it no longer builds. Since I'm on unstable, this happens to me probably like once a month. Um, it's not always a program that I depend on. So sometimes I can just like remove it temporarily. But if it's something that I, I really need around, uh, I can use this trick to keep it around in its stable form and still allow my system to rebuild uh, an update. In any case, I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought about it. If you dislike the video, please leave a dislike and let me know what you disliked about it. If my content is really helping you out, uh, please consider helping me out. I now have three different platforms in which you could uh, support me on. If you wanna support me with the YouTube join button, you can do so right uh, there on the join button. I also have a Libera pay and Patreon, which links will be down in the description below. These kind of tutorial videos and discussions would not be possible without all my channel members and subscribers on these platforms. So again, if my content is helping you out, please consider donating monthly as it really helps me out uh, to keep this channel going. So big thanks and shout out to all of you uh, supporting my channel financially with those small monthly donations it really helps out. In any case, that'll be it for today. So have a good one and see you later.